let us look at one stray strategy of cooperative learning. We shall be looking at the introduction, steps for one stray strategy, advantages and limitations of one stray strategy. At the end of this session, you will be able to implement one stray strategy in the classroom, list the advantages of one stray strategy, reflect on the limitations of one stray strategy. The one stray strategy of cooperative learning is also called as three stray strategy of cooperative learning or at times it is also called as two stray strategy of cooperative learning. But the one straight strategy of cooperative learning is a very effective strategy that can be implemented at elementary level of learning. Let us look at the steps of one stray strategy. The first step is identify the theme or topic to be discussed. At the first step, the teacher selects a topic or a question or a situation which needs discussion. The second step is organize the class into groups of three, four or five members. At this junction, the teacher can take the lead in organizing the group in three members, four members or five members, but at times she may also leave the decision to the students to form their own groups. The third step is while making the groups, the instructor should make sure that it is a mixed group with students of varying abilities and skills put together. When the teacher is formulating the group, she needs to ensure that a mixed group is formed. Students with varied interest, with varied abilities, with varied aptitude should be put together. At times, the students also can be encouraged to formulate the groups. But a word of caution. The teacher should take care that these groups are on task and do not deviate from the task that is assigned to them. Once the groups are formed, the teacher then needs to ask the group members to give themselves a number. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After the numbers are given, give some time to the students, to the members of the group for discussion and to reflect upon the situation that is posed to them. As the students are discussing, the discussions must take simultaneously in each and every group. At this junction, the teacher needs to move around and monitor that the discussions taking place in the group are on task. The teacher needs to ensure that every member of the group is participating in the discussion. She should encourage, motivate, or inspire those members who are not participating in the group. After the initial discussion is over, the teacher then can indicate that, that the time for discussion is completed, after which she can call out for a member of the group. This she can do using the numbers that are allotted to the group members. Now on calling out the student, this student number who is called out should then be asked to stray. The number two members from each group will stray towards another group that will be their host. Give instructions on how to stray. For example, it could be clockwise. While in their new group, the members that strayed, that means the visitors from other groups, should report the results of their original group to the host. The host in turn describe their own findings to the visitor. A specific time needs to be allotted for this visiting activity. After listening to what the host have to say, the visitors return to their home group and tell the members of their own group what they have learned from the other group. Then all four members discuss and compare their own findings with that of the group and their members had visited and then come to a final conclusion. Let us try to understand the steps of one stray strategy with the help of this diagrammatic presentation. There are several advantages of one stray strategy. The most important being the one stray strategy ensures that the students do not become bored with their groups. The students are encouraged to move from one group to another thus helping them to experience different types of group members. The one stray strategy 
also provides a better opportunity to all the students to interact with each other. One street strategy is a very simple strategy that can be easily employed at all levels of teaching. But researchers have found that this strategy is extremely effective at the elementary level of learning. This is also a strategy which boosts the self-confidence of the students. One street strategy ensures that students get an opportunity to learn to, about different perspectives. Also, this is a strategy which helps students to develop varied opinions and understand different perspectives. As there are many advantages, there are also several limitations of one street strategy. For example, if the instructor is not vigilant enough or the instructor does not monitor the activity, there can be a chaos in the classroom. At times, it may be seen that students with very good abilities may be dominant as compared to those students who may experience an inhibition in contributing their ideas or understanding the opinions of the other students. This strategy is a lengthy strategy and therefore requires sufficient time for implementation and hence the teacher needs to be careful and structure enough time for the students to take complete benefit of this cooperative learning strategy. The teacher must ensure simultaneous discussion by each team and transition of members to other teams but this may at times lead to chaotic atmosphere in the classroom if the supervisor does not supervise the movements well. Also, the information delivered from the host to the visitors and the visitors of to the home team may not always be complete or accurate. So to conclude, the one stray strategy of cooperative learning is a collaborative strategy which enables the students to move around the classroom. Rather, it gives an opportunity for the students to become the teacher for the day which actually excites the students and that is exactly what the students want to do. It's also considered to be an extremely effective strategy for kinesthetic learners. Hence, this is one strategy which can be employed for different subjects also at different levels of teaching.